Hello friends, I am Kailash and today we will be learning stretchy on-off joints. Okay, so let's start. So we have our regular joint setup and uh, we have IK and the control curve and also I'm going to add one more attribute over here on the leg controller. So to adding the attribute just go to modify click on the add attribute and I'm going to add stretch stretch and maximum we want one minimum sorry minimum zero maximum one and default zero and just say okay so we have stretch attribute over here and one more thing we're going to do is we are going to create just go to create and uh, go to measure tool and distance tool and if I just press V and snap it to the hip joint and a foot joint press enter key so this is going to help us to know the exact position of our um, IK joint okay for that just select your uh, hip joint select your uh, locator go to constraint and just activate your point constraint just reset the setting whatever default you have just click on add and uh, in the bottom over here select the main controller because we need the controller positioning over here and select your locator now i'm going to add the parent constraint because i want both the information of translate and rotate both and just make sure maintain offset is on and click on add icon over here okay so next what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the node editor and inside node editor just make sure you have to press tab to type something and over here what I want just drag it the distance dimension and um, if I just press distance dimension shape 1 if I just press 2 3 and you will going to find here you are going to find here if I, if I just uh, select the controller and this is our uh, actual uh, distance current distance basically and um, if I just drag it down if I just say straight it so this is our this is the point from where I want to stretch my joint this is coming to around uh, 7.9 7 7.95 so just remember that particular value that we're going to add inside uh, multiplied and divide node so i'm going to take multiplied and divide node over here just press tab say multiply just uh, check that outcome multiply divide press 3 and um, activate your input Okay, from here, if I just double click on the multiply divide node, just make sure your operation is set to divide and uh, whatever the current position we have of our distance that we have to add to the input value, input 1x. So you can see it is connected and remember that particular value so we have this particular value with us this is our current value and the, and this value we need to divide from where we want to start the stretching so this is going this is changeable and this we need to divide and make sure your operation is set to divide this three thing you have to make sure next what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a condition <clears throat> that is going to help us for uh, stretching the thing so I'm going to take a condition node 
condition and I'm going to press 3. So you can see here. First term, we're going to take the output x in the first term. So output x in the first term. So whatever value we have, output x. So it is going to be connected over here. And same thing, output x, I'm going to color if true to the R value over here. And second term is fixed. We want a 1. Okay. And uh, this operation, I'm going to take it to the greater than. If it is greater than 1, if it is greater than 1, this particular value, so it is going to stretch. But I'm going to connect it afterward to the scale x value. And I think this is done for me right now. And next, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take an, another node over here. That is my blend color node. Blend colors. And if I just press 3, so it is activated, just check the icon, this plus icon and uh, if I just press ctrl a so you can see vertically also so just make sure all the 2g to rgb has to be 1 and this take it to the 0 value and this so now we have condition node and uh, so we're going to connect our out color R to the blend color 1R. This out color R I'm going to connect to the 1R like that. So it's going to receive the value from here. And um, now <coughs> whatever uh, values we are receiving from the blend color we have to add it to the scale x value to our uh, respective center hip joint and the knee joint just middle mouse and just drag it over here and if you just check this okay it's proper and if i just press 2 and just activate your scalar value so what we're going to do here you're going to connect our output r to the respective scale x value so, so output r we going to connect the scale x center hip as well as to the center knee okay and one more thing we have to now it is added but we have one more thing we need to do is so the whatever the lag controller we have just middle mouse and just drag it over here and um, lag controller activate your using 3 and just make sure you have the stretch that we have added over here see this we need to take output from here and add it to the blend take it the out value not the in just take the out and connect to the in value over here so it is going to be going to add it like a on off value for our stretchy i'm going to show you that quickly so so if you just uh, go over here and stretch so it is not going to stretch now because its value set to zero and uh, if you just check it so it is not stretching okay and now if just turn the value to one and now if you just check now it is stretching see so we have completed our stretching and it is blending also simple so thanks for watching and stay tuned for another tutorial thank you from kailash